Hi all. In this session, we are going to see about Gruha Jyoti Yojana. So in this session, we are going to see the process how to apply for this Gruha Jyoti Yojana. So this is the link which I will be giving you in the description as well as comment section. So as we all are aware that Gruha Jyoti Yojana is the promise made by our Congress government. So in this we are going to see how to apply for that Yojana online. So this is the link you have to open. Once you click on this link, here you are having multiple options. Gruha Lakshmi, Gruha Jyoti, Shakti Yojana and Yuvanidhi. We are just going to click on this Gruha Jyoti which is live as of now. I will click on this. Maybe multiple users are applying online. Sometime this website will not be available because servers will be busy. But you just have to keep trying unless and until this servers become free. So as of now it is getting opened. And here we are having this is regarding government of Karnataka application for Gruha Jyoti scheme. And here we have this simple form which we have to fill out to apply this online. You can select either one of the language. If you are comfortable in Canada, you can select Canada, or else you can go to English. As of now, I am just going to select English. And this ESCOM name, click on this drop down. Select whichever ESCOM you are using. I am just going to select this BESCOM. Whichever you are using, you can select that option. In your bill, you will be having account ID or connection ID. You just have to enter that. And in that, whose name the bill is made. So that name you have to enter, account holder name. And also you have to enter the address which is given in the bill. Then type of occupancy, you can select either owner. If you are owner of the house and if the bill is in your name, you can select the owner. or else. Or else if you are paying for rent, then you can select this tenant. Then you have to give the Aadhaar number which is linked to your electricity bill. If you have not linked your Aadhaar number, then you have to link it first. Then you can give your Aadhaar number. Then you have to give the name which is present in Aadhaar number. And finally you have to give the mobile number using which they can communicate to you or using which they can send the messages to you. It is always suggested that you can give the mobile number which is linked to your Aadhaar card. So once all this information is filled, you have to click on this checkbox. Enter this Kepacha and just click on submit. And maybe they will be sending you one OTP in your registered mobile number. You can enter that and you can submit form. If they are not asking for any OTP, then this submitting form is enough. Once this application is successfully submitted, you will be able to avail all the Groha Jyoti services that is provided by our government. That's all for this session. I hope you understood this video. If you find this video helpful, do like the video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you will get more notifications regarding the schemes.